Well, reacting to the presence of Shohei. And on the first pitch, he lines one to the gap in left center field. That's a base hit. A rare one for Otani against Valdez, and he's trying for second base. He will make it in there with a double. And Shohei Otani on the first pitch of the game. Lace Smith, it was 0-2. And on 3-2, and he strikes out swinging. The eighth pitch of the at-bat, Cranber Valdez gets a strikeout the first of the game. And a strike on Teosco Hernandez. And a line drive to right field. Moving back toward his McCormick. He gets there to make the catch. Otani tags out, then advanced to third base. Loud out from Teoscar Hernandez, and he's two away. Hey, Otani at third base. Spies hits it hard on the ground right at Alex Bregman. And Framber Valdez able to scoot around, show his double to put up a zero at the top of the first. An absolutely outstanding his rookie season, almost an all star. Eight and two, his last 14 starts with a 2 5 ERA. Jose Altuve pops it up on the right side. Gavin Lux playing second base tonight goes out and makes the catch to retire Altuve. 297 in July. And he lifts this one out toward right field. It's Teoscar Hernandez pushing back a couple of steps to make the catch. A couple of pop ups from Gavin Stone. The strikes on awareness and the power. It's a little cue shot off the end of the bat. You're not expecting that. Stone quick up with it and throws out Alvarez. Good play by Gavin Stone. Pitches for athletes too, Wayne. Like a cat. Deal this year. 2028, though, in Los Angeles it will be. There's a line drive to left field. And moving over for it, Joey Loperfito makes a leaping grab. So one out here in the second and now. But he's confident they're going to get at least one starting pitcher, Wayne. Here's Kike Hernandez lifting a fly ball to right field. It's pretty deep. McCormick is back near the wall. Makes the catch right in front of the fence. And there's not a lot of wiggle room when you hit it. The baseball Hall of Famer, the Astros icon, Kevin Biggio. It's a roller near the second base back where Craig Biggio scooped up a whole lot of those here at Minute Maid Park. And it's a one, two, three inning. Drama, you know, you build in a rivalry. There's a line drive the other way and a base hit for Yonder Diaz leading off in the bottom of the second. Houston has its first hit against Gavin Stone as Diaz pushes one in the right field. Ground ball for Payne to the left side. Grabbed by Ahmed. Throws to second for one. Lux to first. Not in time. A good effort by Nick Ahmed to at least get one out. And the Dodgers nearly turned two. Leagues. Absolutely. It's a fly ball to left field over toward the Crawford boxes. Moving back toward Vargas has a little bit of room and makes the catch. Right in front of the wall in left field. Again, it does not take much to get it out here at Minute Maid Park. It's single two. Three and two, runner going and ball four. So a couple of base runners now for the Astros with two outs. Three balls and a strike on Loper Fido, and he lines one to left field. That's a base hit. Pena gets to third. He's being waved home. Vargas throws toward the plate. It's cut off. The Astros score first on an RBI single by Joey Loperfito. It's 1 0 Houston. They have scored a run here in the bottom of the second. And McCormick comes up empty on another big fastball from Gavin Stone. That's his first strikeout, but it comes after an RBI. Yeah, you know, you always get those right before the game starts. You kind of feel it. Ooh. I never know if it's a homer here or not. I feel like I every five balls a homer. <laughs> It is not this time. McCormick <laughs> makes the catch right at the edge of the warning track. <laughs> you know, you're going to see, you know, 95, 96, 97 for the whole game. And um, he's got that slider now, too. And, uh, that was kind of nasty. Right there. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's one of your breaking balls right there. Uh, his is his ball. And now, like you said, he's starting to shape him a little better and makes for, oh, good. <laughs> Out to the gap in left center. And it is great. Who makes an acrobatic catch to Rob Otani? That's where the Astros have a 1 0 lead against the Dodgers. And on the first pitch here in the third, Jose Altuve lifts a fly ball to left field. It's fairly shallow as Vargas is camped under to make the catch. Well, Vargas didn't have for him, especially when you're a young star and trying to find your way into the big leagues. You go out there and play. And there's a rocket. Alex Bregman has teed off over the Crawford boxes. A home run for Bregman. Red hot, and the Astros have a 2 0 lead on Bregman's 13th home run. Took advantage of Stone's mistake up in the zone, and he's made a living on putting the ball in the proper boxes. But I love to see him square up. He's an important piece of Stone.
Does he hit him in front of Jordan Alvarez? He had to be a constant threat, and he's been that for the last two months. That ball was smoked. Ooh. In the 25 home runs in the 2017 World Series between these two teams. Well, Bregman hit two of them. He is fastball center cut, and he stood up on him. Just beat him to the spot, Wayne. And there's a drive out toward right center field. Well, this one will bring Teasco Hernandez in as he makes the catch. Two outs. That's the sixth most in Astros history. It's a chopper down the third base line from Yiner Diaz. Long throw for Kike Hernandez. And he makes the play to win the inning. Let the Astros tack on a run. First place teams, the Dodgers have been ahead pretty much all year in the National League West as Smith chops it to Pena, the Gold Glove winner at short, retires Will Smith one away. Get his foot down in New York. Just this past series against the Giants. Good, good movement on that pitch. I love how they watch because the way he do that baseball. Especially with that GC action, he's just looking at the center of the plate and ripping and ripping that pitch. He's like, that's okay. They don't know I missed my location. <laughs> it gives that little head nod, and now he has the ability to change eye level. And, oh, and a pitch timer off. violation against Pines for strike three to end the inning. Pines upset with Alex McKay, the home plate umpire. This game, then he doubles in his first at bat and has that rocket robbed of a hit in his second. Event. How much fun is it watching Shohei go? So good. And the thing is, though, he's only scratching the surface. He's only getting better. If he gets a ball up in his hitting zone, uh, there's nobody better on the planet. Thanks, Dave. All right. Now, Jeremy Pena smacks one in the gap. Three balls, two strikes. And Singleton lines one out to a run. This is way back. Long gone into the second deck as John Singleton cracks a two run homer. The Astros have opened up a 4 0 lead. He had some serious power from the full side. He fouled off a couple of sliders. He felt like he should have barreled. But that time, that baseball did not get in on him enough. He was able to extend his arm. And as soon as he barreled that baseball, he knew it wasn't coming back. It's the eighth home run this year for Singleton. And that was no cheapy into the second deck here at Minute Maid Park. Second homer given up by Stone in this game. It's a slow roller. Might be a tough play. Nick Ahmed charges. Bare hands throws. And two one. And then field hit for Jake Myers. And this is a cutter that he's trying to get in. He's trying to swing over the top of it. And he just beats him to the spot and back lifted as soon as he barreled it. He knew that baseball was square up. Hey, uh, on right off the bat as well. It's the first time this year from start to finish of that run. Swing and a miss here by Lopefito. The Astros have, have gone through GM changes, manager changes, certainly player personnel changes. Several years worth. There's a liner out toward left center field. Pajes moves over to make the catch. Two away. Andy Pajes was at the plate to end the top of the fourth inning. Fast, and then we try to use the pitch clock to your favor, and Valdez did. Jose Altuve, it's a bouncer cut off by Kike Hernandez, who throws on the run to end the inning. So the Astros get two more jumps. Rosarena in the 2020 World Series. What a postseason he had. Miguel Vargas strikes out. It's three straight strikeouts now for Framber Valdez. He has five on the night. Ball and two strikes on Hernandez and a swing and a miss. Strike three. Valdez now with four consecutive strikeouts. Two up, two down. Here in the fifth. Not only in the locker room, but in the city of Houston. Here's strike three to Kevin Vigio. As Craig looks on, he has a smile. Chops this one to the shortstop, Nick Ahmed, a former Gold Glove winner. The sidearm sling to first. Yeah. And, uh, one out of the fifth. No, I just. I just don't see him being in another uniform. I think they give him money. All four to Jordan Alvarez. One on one. Turned it on over the last couple of months, as have the Astros. Here's Diaz with the grounder. Ahmed with a backhand pick. Had some trouble getting out of his glove, but everybody's safe. 
a base hit for Yiner Diaz. Which be... One opera to third. Hernandez grabs it, steps on the third base bag, and the throw to first takes too long. And Hernandez does zap the lead. And give you a chance, give your team a chance to win ball games. Fly ball to center field off the bat of Singleton. Andy Pajes sizes that one up to end the inning. So the Astros don't score in the fifth. Jim DeShaves. Swing and a miss, strike three. And I'll tell you another note on DeShays. He had once had a streak of eight straight strikeouts to begin. Can't hold up. And that will break the string of strikeouts and of 16 in a row set down by Valdez. Gavin Lux continues to swing the bat well. He has a one out base hit here in the sixth inning. Seem to match up a lot. On three and two, he takes ball four. Another curve that just missed the bottom of the zone. Second, and Shohei would stay in that number one spot. Well, here's ball four to Will Smith, and suddenly the Dodgers are cooking up a rally here, down by four. It's on Teoscar Hernandez. Swing and a miss, strike three. Strikeout number nine. He lifts this one to right field. Right there is Chaz McCormick. Valdez pitches out of trouble. Seven six now the Yankees leading the Red Sox there in the eighth inning at Fenway. Here's a base hit from Jake Myers leading off the bottom of the sixth inning. As the Astros have knocked around Gavin Stone a bit tonight, four runs and now eight hits. What happened? They start to believe in themselves. So it's been fun to watch. A strike through call to Loper Fido. Didn't like that one from Alex McKay. So Stone. Runner going and Altuve grounds one in hit almost hit the batter. I guess it didn't. It's in the right center field. It's a base hit. I thought maybe it Myers because he tripped when the ball was rolling by the ball might have hit him, but it didn't. Bregman pops it up. So Stone should be out of the inning here. Andy Pajes in center field makes the catch. Gavin Stone able to survive six innings. Although his team down by good start, especially in their home confines, and they did that. Certainly did as they won six out of seven. There's a nice diving stop by Pena. Long throw and he throws it away. It's off the front of the dugout as Vargas crosses first base. So here is Kike Hernandez with Vargas aboard. He lines it over the head of Pena in the left center field. That's a base hit. Vargas takes off the third base. Hernandez will hold it first. And here come the Dodgers again. Runners on the corners with nobody out. And two strikes on Biggio. And it's right down the middle, strike three. The tenth strikeout from Framber Valdez, and he freezes Kevin Biggio. Two balls, two strikes. A swing and a miss for strike three. Nick Ahmed punched out for the second time tonight. The Brayu fans, the first best, trying to work out of trouble for the second straight inning. Lux hits a roller to the left side. Bregman catches up to it. He'll have no play except for the tag at second base. An out is reported on Kike Hernandez, who overran the bag, but the run did score. Vargas's run counts as Bregman scooped up the ball. The Astros are challenging whether or not Miguel Vargas scored before the tag right here. So here's the tag from Bregman right there on Hernandez. That ends the inning. Now the question is. Did Vargas score from third base or not? He's not really running hard. And they say no. So Vargas did not score in time. Well, it looked very, very close. We did not get a this is a timing play. As you see, Bregman picks up the ball, and Hernandez inexplicably crosses over second base and falls down. So now the tag is coming as Vargas steps up to home plate, and the tag is there. Vargas has not touched home plate yet. And the run doesn't count. The extra stutter step before he tagged the plate with his right foot. Uh, him too. He's got a big swing and a miss. Ryan Yarbrough with that slow hook strikes out Alvarez. So one away here in the seventh. Give me the answer. Xander Diaz lifting a fly ball to left field. 
Vargas makes the catch. A couple of quick outs here in the seventh. Pena with one hopper to third, quickening for Yarbrough as Kike Hernandez throws him out. Shohei Otani will lead off. Presley's record in the postseason has been very good as Shohei Otani cracks a single through the infield. So it's the third time Shohei has been on base today. It's a leadoff knock here in the eighth inning for Otani. You have stuff like that, why not? There's strike three called to Will Smith. So Presley gets another strikeout. 12th from the Astros tonight. Tough to cover that type of spin. Hernandez with a fly ball to right field. This one hit pretty well. McCormick is back for it. He's on the warning track and he makes the catch. With a handful of fly balls tonight that have stopped right on the warning track here. There goes Shohei again. Pitches low, throw to second base. He's not in time, kicks away, but stays on the infield as Otani does get his 25th stolen base. He's got to be that top. It's a fly ball to left center field. Myers has it all sized up. He makes the catch. Rodgers have been shut out through eight innings. Second deck in right field. Wave and a miss here as Yarbrough gets his second strikeout, both against a left hand batter. Fly ball out toward left center field. Hit pretty well by Myers. After it is Pajes near the wall, that ball is off the wall. Jake Myers on base for the fourth time. He's three for three and has a double here in the eighth. It's line toward the left field line. That's a base hit for Jabal. Myers comes home. The Astros get some insurance here in the eighth inning. Five nothing they lead. Jabal was trying to cover that breaking ball the whole time. He was fouling off, fighting off seven pitches and had some elbow problems. Now has simplified it. Looped over first and a great sliding catch by Biggio. That's a double play as Dubon was on his way to third. Nicely done by the son of the Astro legend. He's had won five in a row up until tonight. As James Outman strikes out. So Taylor Scott has done a really nice job out of the Astros bullpen. Strikes out the first batter that he faces here. Astros about to be five games above 500 as Hernandez strikes out. And Taylor Scott has punched out the first two here in the ninth inning. That is 14 strikeouts. One ball and two strikes. Sell out here at Minute Maid. And Taylor Scott strikes out the side to end it as the Astros blink the Dodgers tonight five to nothing. Yeah, the Astros came to play. This is a big matchup. I think they have it circled and obviously they need this ball game and need to continue to play well down the stretch and they want to continue to have a stranglehold on that NL West. AL West. 15 strikeouts from Astros pitching that ties a season high for them. As Taylor Scott strikes out all three that he faces in the top of the ninth inning. And the Astros too much for the Dodgers here tonight. Houston maintains their one game lead in the AL West. Meanwhile the Dodger lead is now six and a half over a surging Padre team that's won six in a row. Well, if the Dodgers continue to struggle, especially on the road, that Padre series will be definitely fun to watch because there'll be some sense of urgency. And this has been the closest that the Padres have been to the Dodgers in a very, very